The USB-C trigger boards used in my video about making a ThinkPad use USB-C have this little jumper right here. And if it's set, it's the higher voltage of the two different kinds. And if it's not set, then it's the lower voltage of two kinds. Uh, in this case, this is now 20 volts. If we remove this, it'll become 15 volts. If it's the 12 volt version, then if we remove this, we will get 9 volts. So let's test this. We'll attach a IKEA power supply to it, a USB-C one. And then we'll go ahead and measure the voltage that we get out, out of the unmodified one. And we indeed get 20 volts. Always before you add the pieces to your machine, check the voltage that comes out. So now we'll go ahead and remove the jumper. We'll just take some solder braid and just use the soldering iron on it and we'll get rid of it. And there, we're done. And now just resetting the multimeter. And let's attach it to the voltage source. And let's check the voltage. And we indeed get 15 volts. Now, if we do the reverse and rebridge the jumper, then we'll just get 20 volts back. Let's do that now. This is a bit tricky because the pad on the right is so big, so it's really easy to accidentally put all of the solder there. So, while being very careful, we'll make the jumper. And there we're done. Now let's attach it to the power source again and check the voltage. And indeed, we get 20 volts again. Now, that's all for this one. I hope this has been helpful. And I'll see you in the next one.